we just pulled up to our next stop. We're at freaking Target. I thought I saw what I could have been like some kind of makeup. I'm not really sure. Wish me good luck. I'm jumping in there right now. All right, guys. So I think we have most of it. We have a ton of makeup. Check this out. Look how nice this cabinet is. And this cabinet is $250. So it is the next day. Unfortunately, we had to call it an early night last night because we couldn't fit anything else into the car. As you remember, one of the legs were broken off of this chest and we found this chest at Tuesday morning for $250. So um, this morning we actually went to one of our local hardware stores with one of the legs to see if we could find a bolt that fit it. And unfortunately we couldn't. So I'm gonna show you a little trick that we did that is holding it pretty well. But let me show you guys this cabinet is absolutely amazing i love like the work on it it's kind of like got the edging the little chip right there and then right down here is the leg that was broken and how i fixed that was i got this oh you guys haven't seen maya in a while look at her she's got to sniff everything like usual Anyways, so I got this super glue. It's, I can't even pronounce the name, but this is actually really good. I think it was like $5. And all we did is we pulled the bolt out a little bit because it had like a nut under it. So we couldn't pull it out completely. And we basically glued it and let it sit for about like maybe a couple hours and literally screwed it right in. And it's perfectly fine. And I absolutely love this. I'm gonna show you all the makeup that we found from Target. I had to take all the packaging off of it because it was soaking wet. And I wanted to show you the golf cart because I put stickers on it so I'm gonna go ahead and meet you downstairs so I have all the makeup scattered in front of me and like I said I had to remove all the packaging to like all the harder stuff because it was wet luckily the little makeup remover wipes are good but all this makeup like I said is from Target and it's by the brand honest so we have a ton of these makeup remover wipes and it was originally two dollars and fifty cents and it went down to 125 but these are just like little travel size versions so there's seven in a pack so like i said we got a ton of this stuff so much i just scoot it all out of the way we actually found a bigger one too i think it had like 25 wipes in it but i ran out of makeup wipes so i already started using it uh but moving on we have a elevated hydration it is a replenishing mist so you can put this on before and after makeup and we have three of them and I actually tried one and it's pretty good it kind of reminds me of the mac fix plus and then there is a ton of these chubby sticks so many different shades most of them is all like a darker nude color but all it is it's like a little kind of like a crayon basically like a lip pencil and it's like a sheer co color to it, so it's not like completely full coverage. So let me scoop these out of the way. We also have a couple of these uh, eye de puffers. It's eye gel cools, brightens, and de puffs. So we have a couple of these, and then this is a eye cream. I think I have another one. I may have put this in our bathroom to try it. And then these are just like two little lip balms, just like a nude kind of shade. And we also have this sponge that we found. I'm not exactly sure what it is because I looked at the packaging and the packaging was completely destroyed. Like all the words were basically melted and gone. But um, I'm pretty sure you just add water to it and it should be okay. We also have some primers. This is the Everything Primer. It's a luminous base, so it's kind of got like a shine to it. This is a uh, mascara. It's a Truly Lush Mascara. And it's actually cute. It's like a nice wand to it. Let's see, does this part open up? Oh, this opens up too. Oh, so you got a primer and then the actual mascara itself. That's actually really neat. Then we have a couple of these loose powders. It's the Invisible Blurring Powder. So it doesn't have like a set shade to it. And all of this stuff, guys, has never been opened. It's all sealed. Oh, look, it says you're in control. One, two, or three clicks. Oh, that's pretty neat. So I guess it's like a grinder, maybe? Who knows? Then this is a cream blush see that is just like a nude shade 
And then all of this stuff right here, they're either luminous powders or like a highlighter type of thing. So let me pull this. Oh, maybe, oh, cream foundations, that's what they are. There's some cream foundations and then also the luminous powders. So let me see if I can find one that is, oh, here we go, here's a powder. And then they got the little covers to them. And there's like a couple shades. They're all mainly um, lighter skin tone shades. This is all the makeup that we found from Target. Last thing I wanted to show you guys, as you already saw before, is this adorable golf cart that we found from Tuesday morning. It was a hundred dollars. And I just wanted to show you that I did add the stickers to it. And I think this thing is so freaking cute. And then also I forgot to mention we did put batteries, it takes two AA batteries, and each of these buttons, it's so cute, like revs the engine and then it starts playing different types of music. So there's like a rock music channel, a country, and like a dance channel. It is so cute. And then also, we couldn't find the charger to it, but then we went ahead and unscrewed this and it actually has the charger for the battery in here. This thing does work. Oh, maybe the battery's dead. Oh, never mind. There we go. I think this is so cute. It's got little stickers in here that has like little buttons, like the forward and reverse, and then just all different kind of things. The golf bag. I went ahead and opened it just to see what was in there, but look how cute these are. These are like little, I think they're called tees. Let me sit this up here so Maya Murphy doesn't get into it. But like you set your little golf ball on there, and then it's got this little stand where the golf ball goes into. This is so cute. That is everything that we found last night. Like I mentioned, we had to cut it a little short just because we couldn't fit anything else into the car, but we are about to go back out and we'll go ahead and meet you at the dumpster. First stop, we are actually at TJ Maxx. And by the way, we're only going to the dumpsters that we missed last night just because we already went everywhere. So first stop, TJ Maxx and Nicole's already, oh, turn the light on. What is it? 14 inch Lazy Susan. It looks super heavy. Oh no, yeah. holy cow. It's like marble. I think it is. So I guess we got to glue it back down. Yeah, sure, that glue 20 it. bucks actually is not a bad price for that, to be honest. Mm -hmm. be yeah, be careful. It's already looks like the top piece is already cracking. All right, so we already found something. Sweet. What else did you see in here? I see a lamp. Oh, the, the base is broken. It's not too bad though. You could probably maybe glue it. It's pretty nice. What's in the box? Oh, I see a candle. And I see broken glass. That's broken. What's that? Polish. There's no lid to it. No. Looks like it's probably leaking too. Is there anything on the bottom of that box? There you go. There's some kind of, um, looks like containers in the bottom of there. Let me see if they're all busted up. Um, this one might not be. And yes it is, it's completely shattered. Looks like there's something back there though. Oh, what is this? Himalayan pink sea salt. Oh, it's leaking a little bit, but take it. Yep. All right, what is this? container it's all broken up uh, looks like honestly not much in here guys a bunch of broken glass on the other side yeah kind of a bust over here but at least we got this little lazy Susan it looks like we're gonna have to like somehow glue it down or something like that but it is pretty cool it was $20 but this is pretty much it. We are at Staples, keeping my fingers crossed because we have not found anything in here and I already see something. Anything in here in forever. And we already got a thing of gel pens. Yeah, looks like one just busted right there. Ew, that sucks, but that's okay. Plus we got, already see a binder. It's cut a little bit, but that's all right. Pretty much nothing else wrong with it. Yeah, what is this, a one inch? Uh, yes, one inch. Yeah, probably one inch. What else do we got inside of here? Oh, there might be something in this bag, Nicole. Uh, possibly. Uh, maybe I just felt that box, actually. Nope, There's nothing in there. Okay, There's nothing in there, though. Hold on, hold on. Oh, otter box, but it snapped off in a corner. 
here's the other piece to it. Eh, that sucks. There's the box. All right, nothing in that bag. All right, nothing gonna be in that bag either. What is this? Oh, I see a spiral notebook, or a wide roll notebook, I mean. Basically the same exact thing. Just a simple little notebook and you can pop the pages out when you're done. Nothing wrong with it either. No. Anything else? Is this detergent? Oh my god, Nicole, it is. Really? It's Tide. Really? Yes. Oh it's a whole god. freaking thing of Tide. Cool. Oh my god, it's heavy. Look. Yeah. Are you serious? There you go. I guess, what, is it leaking or something? Or somebody just return it? This is return. That's it. Nice. Those freaking All things right. are expensive, too. All right, so we got a... Of all things, a freaking bottle of detergent from Staples, which is kind of odd, but I'll definitely take it. I see some hand sanitizer. It's like never even been used, brand new. Nice. You mess with that, I'm gonna keep digging. Keep your eye out for security too, Nicole. A lot of broken containers in here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go on the other side really fast. Really absolutely nothing on the other side. I just um, went ahead and jumped down. Oh, these dumpsters are actually on this huge ledge. I have no idea why they're all the way up here, but anyway, this is what we found. We got a brand new thing of Tide, which is insane. And we got a thing of Purell, which is another weird item to find at Staples, but, and we got a couple of other things. We got some gel pens and a little notebook and another notebook, but that's pretty much it over here. Pretty good though. This is Pier 1 Imports. What you got, baby? A pillow? First fall decoration from the dumpster of the year. What's wrong with it? There's gotta be something. Oh, okay. goodness. But that's okay, I can easily just sew it. Yeah, you could sew it, you're right. Could you sew, sew it to where it zippers back up, you think? Cause there is a zipper there. Oh my God, I didn't think about that. Yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. Sew it back. Oh yeah. Pretty nice. I really like this. Is there a price? Yeah. No. Anything else? Looks like what is those? Looks those, like more pillows? Those are outdoor cushions. Oh, they sliced them too. They sliced these things up really, really bad. Every single cushion is. That's terrible. I mean, it looks like it probably went to a chair or, or some kind of outdoor thing for your patio or whatever anyway. Yeah. But honestly, I think we would have took them if they weren't sliced up, but I don't yeah. think we're gonna bother. That sucks. And there's another one over there, I think. Oh, ah. oh well, at least we got one pillow. Let's check it out one more time. First fall decoration of the year. I know you're happy. Fortunately, that's pretty much it. We're gonna go to at least one more dumpster. By the way, we already went to uh, Barnes and Noble, so I'm not really sure where we're gonna go next, but we're gonna hit at least one more dumpster up. 